Welcome to D-Lab. On the bench today, I have a Precision Model S10 amplifier in for repair. This is actually the second one that has came across the bench. A friend of mine in Utah shipped this out. He recently purchased it and it needed work. So it has been recapped. There's been work done. However, the power transformer is bad. So he sent it to me to see what I could do. Let's take a look at it. Well, here it is. The little Precision Electronics Model S10. I've seen this advertised under the name Groms. And if you look at the back, it says that it's licensed by Western Electric. So probably a very desirable little amp. Runs four tubes, a pair of 6BQ5 outputs, a 6V4 rectifier, and a 6EU7 preamp input and inverter tube. Okay. So let's check the power transformer real quick. But the good news is for the guy is I was digging around in D-Lab archives. I have a drop in replacement for this amp. Okay. So let's check the transformer. He told me the primary is open. We'll verify that and then we'll replace it. All right. So I have my meter set up on ohms. 2K scale. Leads are good. Go across the primary winding right here wide open. So there's no saving that transformer. So what I'm going to do is change the transformer and we're going to change this cord to a three-prong grounded type and we'll see if the power supply comes alive. Alright, there's nothing to save here. So I'm just going to cut my wires back where I can see where they went. And we'll get well, that ground goes all the way over there. That might be handy. We'll leave that one there. There's another ground going over to that tube. Just going to cut him loose, get this iron out, get the new one in. Alright, so I decided to go ahead and land a terminal board to give me a good ground point for our power and a distribution point for the 6 volt AC. So as you see, I roughed up the metal because you never want to just rely on a pop rivet to give you good ground. In this case, you guys know what I use to get that good chassis ground, right? Normally, I have Snozoramus. You're very familiar with him, but you're not going to believe what I have now. Oh, yeah. Super Snozoramus. Right a lot of people wonder where ghouls come from. Look at the heat of that guy. Well, yeah. they come from all over. They have... A lot of ghouls come from Portugal. <laughs> New transformers wired up. If you look right down here, you'll see the 100 ohm balancing resistors. I had to do that on the filament lines because the new transformer did not have a center tap on the 6 volt AC line. Okay. Other than that, everything fell right into place. I did have to extend some of the wiring, but it's all heat shrinked, safe, and ready to go. I've already brought the amp up on a variac to make sure there is no shorts in the power supply. Got the tubes installed. So we're going to do a little test, see if we can get any kind of output. Here's a mic gain. I'm hearing nothing out of the test speaker, okay? So let's go full bore and I'll just touch the input back here. So it is amplifying, meaning we have good high voltage and the output transformer is okay. But we have extreme low gain, so this thing would not work well with a guitar. So the next step will be to modify that and get the gain up to the point where this amp is actually usable. So good news on the Precision Amp. It's up and running doesn't have the proper gain yet but if you guys remember back a few years ago I actually featured one of these amps where I addressed the same issue I pulled out the 6EU7 I put in an inverter tube and a 12AX7 and that amp sounded like a dream well we're gonna do that on this amp 
If you want to see the video of the one I did previously, I'll post the link in the description. But in part two, we're going to modify this amp, and this time, I'm going to document it and share the schematic with you. We'll see you then.